Hey everybody, happy Friday. My name is Kimmy, this is Soho California Vintage. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. So this is um, going to be second glance jewelry sale. And what this entails is this is actually jewelry left over from my last live and possibly a few lives before that and anything I didn't get to show in my last sale. So this is another opportunity for people who miss my sale because um, I know everybody's on different schedules and I just have some magnificent pieces still. So um, I'm going to dive right in. There's actually, I have this um, plate to show you and then I have some, oh, a few others. So um, let me see, where do I start? Everything's just so, to be honest with you, I love everything in this lot that I have right here. Okay, so I featured this brooch. This is actually marked West Germany. It's beautiful green faceted glass. This is great for anybody who's um, collecting brooches or you know if they wear them. And then remember in my previous videos, you can convert these into pendants. Wouldn't that be a beautiful pendant to wear? Like, let's think about this. You, you put the conversion right here. I would wear it like this. That's beautiful. Um, if you're not sure about the conversions, uh, go two videos back, not two videos back towards the end and I have the conversions and I show you. So it is stamped right there. It does have the matching earrings. I will throw in the matching earrings for free, okay? I want the set to stay together. So if anybody's interested in this, um, this will be, oh, also when you email me, if you could send me a screenshot of the item you're interested in, or a timestamp, or um, I prefer that. Sometimes a description, I, I can remember what it is, but a lot of times I need a screenshot or a timestamp. If you're not familiar with timestamp, it's wherever the minutes are and seconds in the video, and you put that in the, See, right now I'm at two minutes and 35 seconds and I'm showing this. So you just put two um, dot dot 35. So, and then if I give you a price, please include the price because for the most part I do remember, but it'll speed up the process. You, sometimes I'm like, did I say 45 or 48, you know? So anyways, this uh, lovely set, but these are free earrings, will be a buy it now of 55, okay? Um, I don't think I ever got to feature this brooch, or maybe I did, I'm not too sure. Look at how lovely these, it's blue faceted. Okay, now I'm looking at it. Maybe, oh, okay. It has a little quirkiness to it. So the stone in the center, if you could tell, it's a little bit more sunken in on the right side. But if you wear it, you can't tell. I just caught that right now. This um, is a very old pin brooch. And this most likely came from like Austria or Germany. Just with the back, the way it's designed. This definitely is another country. Um, I will be fair with this for its condition. If anybody's interested... Um, and all the pearls are there. Um, I will do a buy it now of 20, which is a fabulous price in its condition. Now this lovely little flower with blue faceted stones and pink crystals is by, um, okay, this isn't helping me. Hold on, I thought it was maybe Kramer. Who is it though? It is, yeah, it's Kramer of New York. If the stamp is right there, Kramer of New York. Oh, I see what's going on here. I'm gonna show you the bracelet that would match this, and it's also Kramer. Anyways, this one's in very good condition. It's a brooch, and it could be converted to two in a pendant for a necklace this uh, I will do a very fair 15 I'll do 15 on that one now this bracelet is also Kramer it's a clamp okay 
This would be, I would say, I'm gonna measure it on me right now. This definitely has to be a seven inch wrist and smaller. Seven inch wrist and smaller. If you're like five and three quarters, it'll still be fine. Um, this is signed, it's Kramer. This came actually from the same lot and it kind of matches. If anybody, I'm gonna drop the price on this one. This one will be 15 and yeah, let's do that. This patinaed out um, sterling cuff is actually Napier. It's mid-century. Napier came out with these beautiful sterling pieces, um, mid-century modernist, and I don't know why they didn't continue, I guess, the, the phase and the, or I don't know if it didn't do well or whatnot, but they are highly collectible. It is signed in here, right there, really faint. I don't clean the silver, I leave it for the new owner. Let me give you a measurement on this. Um, now I could get it over my over my wrist. It's, it's a little tough to get it on, but once it's on, it feels fine, okay? This is a collector's item. This one, I cannot do no lower than $40. $40. And a lot of the Napier Sterling pieces are book pieces. I don't have the book, so I don't know if this one is in the book. See, so this is where we're at. Now, it's almost at two and a half. I don't like measuring open cuffs because of this. It's like kind of like not fair because it doesn't fully, you know, it's not going to... You could expand it more, you could close it in more. So this one is a buy it now 40. I have this beautiful, thick, native turquoise cuff. Look at that. This one's hefty. It is stamped sterling inside. This definitely is gonna be for a smaller wrist. I would have to, and I'm gonna measure it, but I wanna say, I mean, you could open it up. Let me see if I could even get it on. Yeah, actually I could get it on. I'm gonna show, oh, you know what? Check this out. So I'm a seven and a half. I wouldn't have thought that I could get it on. But look, it's actually, it's snug. It's snug. So to make it more comfortable for myself, I probably, if I was to keep it and you know use it, I would open it up a little bit more. It's snug, but yeah, it'll fit a seven and a half below. And um, it's just, for this cuff, $40, $40. Okay, I have, I still have these beautiful Labradorite. These are old. Look at that. These are sterling pendants. This one has an open back. I'm trying to get the, the flash for you guys to see it. I could see a little bit down below right here. My window's open, so. Okay, you guys see that right there? Oh, she's pretty, look at that. Look at that, I love massive. Out of this lot, I got another blue Labradorite one. It didn't sell, cause you know, I had it at, at its price. Um, I'm keeping it. And so this one, the, the frame is flushed in. It's very, very buttery and smooth. It's not gonna get, I wouldn't think it would get caught on something, okay? And the patina is fierce on these pieces. Okay, so if anybody's interested, this one does have flash. Do you see that at the bottom? It's kind of, I like looking into stones that give these flash. I feel like I'm looking in a, in a different world and there's like a little mini storm going on so beautiful so this one i will do for 30 because it doesn't have that much flash oh my god nah it has more flash on top this one i'm sorry not 30 35 this one i have to do 35 i have to i have to this one will be um 45 okay kind of like eye in the sky speaking of storms we're supposed to be getting strong winds and rain starting Sunday possibly late uh, Saturday late Saturday early Sunday um, right now it's going through 
uh, Mexico and so we've got to go outside and close we have an umbrella that sits in the middle of our patio table just got to make sure everything's covered and down because I don't want things flying all over the neighborhood okay this was cute it's a question mark this is a vintage piece from Avon this is actually all the way from 19 no not not Avon Hallmark wait a minute is this the year Hold on one sec. I thought it was 87. Oh, wow. This was the year I was born. 82. 82. It's just a cute collector's plastic question mark pin. I would put this as a pendant off of a um, necklace. It's on like a blackened rope or chain type of necklace anyways if anybody's interested this is a collector's item 10 bucks i have these beautiful clip on ab kind of like a smoky quartz color faceted glass no maker's mark if anybody's interested Ooh, beautiful 15 i'll do 15 this i featured in the last sale these are clip-ons as well mid-century as well look at that let me see. So they would, let me see here. So they would go, yeah. Let me see. Uh, they would, they would go in as like this. You would wear them like this. Or if you want, you could flip them like that. Very cute. 15. I'll do 15 on those. Okay. Now let me get into some of these um, stone necklaces. This one is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so happy that I'm able to film this in natural daylight. I want you to see this beautiful blue agate. You, you, um, Silver, please stop. I'm filming, honey. That's my cat. They're over there hot dogging around. Come on, come up here. Okay. I know you don't, you don't like to be bothered on your term. She's one of those cats. Um, Apache keeps trying to play with her and she's like, mm -mm. so I'm going to give you a drop. You know what? I'm going to give you a full measurement actually on what this is because it does have the extender. So this is brand new. I got it at a local department store and the measurement on this from one, one side to the other end is 22 inches 22 inches if you want to make it shorter it has about two two and a half of an extender this is sterling okay this is from the brand iris and lily look it up fabulous stone um necklaces there it is never use brand new this would also be great for a gift you guys before you know it we're gonna blink and boom christmas is here this has weight so if you do not like to wear heavy stuff around your neck this is not your cup of tea but look at look at the stones like look at this i wish there was a bracelet oh my god it's gorgeous. This one is going to be a buy it now of 90. I can't go any lower. I've seen the prices of what they go online and I definitely could get um, that much and way more. Okay. So this is brand new. Oh, I just like playing with it too. And it's silk knotted in between. It's very, very strong the way it holds these beautiful blue agates. Okay. Okay, I still have this mother of pearl. <clears throat> it's very, very long. They're just circular beads. I will do, I'm gonna drop the price on this one. I will do a buy it now on these. I don't know if you could see the, the pearl, mother of pearl. Um, I'll do a buy it now of 16 on these. A buy it now of 16. This is a very long sterling and um, well, wait a minute. Let me make sure. I think I, did I find a mark or I, t I think I tested it. Hold on one second. Let me grab my, um, magnet because I think I tested that one. 
I'm not 100% sure though. I had a really good night's sleep last night and it's hard for me to have like a nice solid sleep. So I'm just, I woke up in such a oh, relieved, good mood. Don't you love it when you have a good night rest and it's like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I'm a night owl. So it just, it, it takes a lot, you know? Okay. I believe it's Sterling. Now this measures, let's see here, I, I believe it's like nine inches. So somebody could wear it as an anklet. Oh, it, ooh, nine and a half, nine and a half. The beautiful part about this hook is that the way it was created, it was on this loop right here, if I could get it. Mm, hold on, let me bring it in. In front of the camera, it's always a challenge. Come on. Okay, so I just snagged it on this loop right here. So somebody could wear it and then have um, like a dangling um, rose quartz um, hanging off. If they need it smaller, they definitely can make it smaller. I think it's really um, romantic. This, to be honest with you, I can't do it no lower the, with the size of the rose quartz and the versatility, it's 20. It's a buy it now 20. This um, Murano glass graduated necklace. I'm going to drop the price on this. It is knotted in between. Here is the closure, which is a, I believe, a, let me see here. You know what? It's actually a little challenging to open up. I did open it up before. It's big enough to throw over one's head, okay? It is challenging to get this open. I'm gonna do this for a buy it now <sighs> because it is challenging for the class, but like I said, you could throw it over your head. The drop on this is, um, 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 the drop on this is 11 and a half inches, almost 12. Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna do this for a buy it now 48 on the um, Murano graduated necklace, which is a fabulous deal because those are they, they sell for in the hundreds. This one is fantastic. This one obviously somebody made and they did a really good job. That looks like a sterling clasp right there. This kind of reminds me of the planets. We have different stones. We have beautiful agates, carnelian, um, I see lapis, possibly jade. Ooh, look at that blue one. Amazonite. I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. Um, so this one um, will be a buy it now of 25. And uh, the drop on this, and remember folks, even if it's a little too short you can add an extender and if i remember i will show the extenders that i have available to purchase at the end i'm trying to be fast with this so the drop on this is nine and a half inches nine and a half inches okay okay now i have this very very short raw amber uh this lady had a very very tiny neck um, I would actually convert this into something bigger, wear it around the ankle or wear it around the wrist and double, um, you know, strap it. I'm going to give the measurement on this. No bronze. Hey, my cats are just like having, what is going on with you, girl? My cats are having a party over here. I feel like they're going to knock everything down. Okay, so from one side to the other, we're looking at 15 inches. And at 15 inches for this raw amber, I will do a buy it now, $15. Great deal. You know, if you already know, if you're into amber, that that's great. Now let me get into the chip stones. 
These were purchased um, in the 70s and the homeowner, um, well, I bought them out of a lot from one of my dealers and the the previous the the main the owner who had them she she t she wrote she separated them and put them in bags and wrote the year sometimes wrote the city of where she got them from this is lapis beautiful um tumbled like it she, i don't even think she used these 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 are so buttery and clean like just well, these are probably one of the top notch um chip stone necklaces that I've gotten okay so this is um this is one necklace let me give you a measurement on this lapis I will do 15 I will do 15 now I know a lot of people maybe frown upon maybe just getting okay so this measurement of we're looking at 23 23 inches from one end to the other i know sometimes people frown upon um maybe chip stones it's just not their cup of tea well i'm gonna tell you right now if you just get th one of these pieces and you touch it and you put it on it will completely change your mind stones possess different type of um, energies some are good for, um, let's see here, like um, health. Um, I don't know so much about fortune, but health, good health, um, protecting from bad energy, because you know there's a lot of that around. I mean, you could be around somebody. I'm, and I'm a true believer of this. You could be around somebody. And unfortunately, there are people like this in the world, but if they have any type of uh, negative feeling towards you or mel just just not good energy towards you, sometimes with these stones, um, I feel like you can be protected in a sense because, oh, and another, and another thing that I learned recently, when you have stones, you are supposed to um, sage them, like cleanse them, sage them. And they say you're not supposed to allow other people to touch your stones because their energy might seep into the stones. Okay, bronze, you, no, 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 stop it. Ugh, you guys, come on, please. He's over here. Come on, relax. Um you you can meet somebody and if they have a little envy towards you it's so it's it's just so sad how people can be it's like can we just all want good for everybody else you know that's just the way i feel anyways i'm going on another tangent but lapis 15 beautiful now these are mixed stones and what they what you could separate them into two necklaces or leave, leave them as is into one big long necklace this one also is a two and one and it's a malachite this one is mixed quartz malachite lapis and i believe it's kind of hard to tell uh tiger's eye if, if it's not tiger's eye it's hard to see through the sides no 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 bronze leave my measuring tape alone buddy if it's not tiger's eye it's a type of jasper Oh, it's tiger's eye. And then I also have amethyst, which is great also for healing and protection and positive energy. This is a two in one. And I'm telling you, they feel absolutely buttery. I have a collection of long chip stones of like all the colors of the rainbows. And I just collect the ones that I don't have, you know, cause there's hundreds of stones. So I've already have amethyst, malachite, uh, blue lace agate. This is blue lace agate right here. And it also could be um, called banded agate. Okay, so if anybody's interested in these long ones, I'm gonna do a very crazy price of $25 each.
and you're getting two necklaces in one. So that's insane. Insane. Okay, in the brain. Okay, so we still have this. Gorgeous. Oh my god. Okay, let me show some of uh, the other pieces. Oh, I have this little mosca. <laughs> Moscas fly. I don't know what it was, if it was a pin or a pendant. It needs to be soldered or somebody needs to like uh, fix this. Or maybe they could just glue it on a brooch or something. I don't know if it's, I don't remember testing if it's sterling. It might be. I would think that it is. But if anybody wants this for their, you know, for little buggies. Are those little ruby eyes? Hold on. Now I'm interested. Because it does have the turquoise. No, they're not. Oh, wait. No. Um, this little guy right here, I will do eight. Eight dollars. Okay. Also, if anybody is in the market for diamond hoops, these are real diamonds. Now, they are not, you know, obviously, um, and this is sterling silver. Obviously, they're not, you know, like a uh, D letter diamonds, but they do have some fire to them. I'm trying to see here. Do I have a flashlight? Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. So if anybody's interested in the diamond hoops, I believe they're about an inch or almost an inch. Almost, they're like three quarters. Well, yeah, they're a hair smaller than an inch. Um, these will be a buy it now of 50, a buy it now 50, okay? Now, I pick these up and I try to look up the name and didn't, I, I mean, I looked them up one time, so maybe I didn't, you know, research takes a lot of time and if I can't find something right away, I usually put it to the side and I, I have to keep it moving, you know, because time is of the essence when you're dealing in this business. So this company is MB. You think it's Mary Bright? It might be. Mary Brighton? I don't know. Not Brian, Mary Bright. So this is a pen and a pen pendant, okay? Obviously it's pewter. It's a little birdhouse, a little birdhouse. And then this one, they are binoculars. It's the same brand, MB. They put a pin right here. You could put a chain though. That would be cute off of a necklace. Let me see here. They put a pin. I don't know its original intention. Let me close this before I prick myself. There we go, there. So maybe this has to do with like bird watching. Cause look at here's another bird hat. Oh, these look like paint brushes. And um, MB is signed right there. It's a pen. Close this one up too. And then here I have the leaf, and it looks like a little ladybug, and it's MB. So cute. So if anybody's interested, I will do ten dollars each on these, and I'll do this one for five. But this is the whole set that I have. I still have this magnificent Zuni fetish necklace. And this one is probably, this is one of the top Zuni fetishes um, carved animals that I have ever come across. Because usually I just get the birdies, maybe a few mixed animals in there. This one has all different animals. From birds to bears to rabbits to turtles to armadillos and they're carved stone and I believe this is a Thunderbird um, somebody was asking that in my sale but then my sale was buffering and I it was just a hot mess thank you thank you YouTube <laughs> so this is a double strand this is native Native American these are sterling and these are you can tighten it smaller if you want this one I cannot do no less than 150 and I think that's very fair so um 
before you hit the so when you hit when the drop on the first um the drop on the first uh necklace is hitting 12 and then the next one's about 13 okay beautiful um I have this <clears throat> I still have this Sarah Coventry cabochon um, mesh bracelet it's signed right here it has a little bit of wear I'll just do this I'll bring it down to ten dollars I paid more for it but you know I gotta move stuff out so the measurement on this will be seven and a half seven and a half and it's a fold over clasp so it's a seven and a half, it will fit, you know, seven and a quarter, seven. Six and three quarters to six and a half will probably be, it'll fit, but it'll be a little bit loose. Okay. This one, I didn't get to feature it in my last sale. Um, let me move this out of the way. Now, this right here is carnelian, okay? And I'm gonna show you what was attached to it because this is, you know, somebody, it's an artisan. I'm trying to, I don't know what this black thing is, if it's stone or if it's, I don't know what it is to be honest with you petrify wood like jet so it's a barrel clasp gold tone barrel clasp let me give a measurement and I'm gonna show you who made this so it looks like somebody purchased this at an event um, maybe a craft fair where other jewelry sellers were at this is almost at 20, almost. It's like a hair shorter than 20 inches from one side to the other. It's beautiful, it's sleek, okay? And this is the, the card that it came with and the owner will get it. Marvelous Crafts of the Black Land, Richard Ashton and Lydia Rapinski. So this was in California, so they probably make native jewelry. And um, I don't know much about this. If anybody wants this, I'll do um, 18 bucks. Buy it now, 18, okay? And you will get the information from the the, sal the creator, you know, who made it. Now, um, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm going to be going over the last bits, the rings and whatnot, and then that's it. And if anybody's interested, please email me and please be respectful. And if I email you back, respond accordingly, because if not, I can't hold things. If you're not being responsive, I got to move on to the next person. If somebody is interested, it's not fair uh, for me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just making an announcement. I'm not pointing any fingers I'm just send it, sending a reminder just you know uh, be respectful that if you do send an email um, be patient because I may be dealing with other emails and I will come to yours next in queue and line also another thing um, I've been kind of going back and forth about this idea and I want to get your guys' opinion if you made it this far in the video I have an email a business email that obviously um, I go back and forth, but how would you guys feel if I had a business line, like a, a phone number and instead of having to email me, you guys could just text me and ask me questions and photos. Cause if that's, cause I know right now we're all about efficiency, simplicity, and you know, it's just keep it moving, keep it moving. Sometimes it takes time to figure out how, for some people to put, to describe something in an email or a photo that way if it's just 
uh, if you could, if I had a business separate line phone number. Okay, Silver, she's making her hunting um, sounds for the birds. Um, I lost my train of thought here. Um, if if I have no Silver, don't don't munch on my paper. Stop it. Oh yeah, yeah. You're like a toddler, Missy. So, yes, if that sounds easier, um, I know sometimes P I have one person who she can't email me because most of the time she's at work. So she puts comments in um, the uh, in the video, which I don't mind, but I don't want to. I I don't basically practice my business like that. It's just she's been with me for a long time and so I have it like that anyways would a number be easier because then that way you could send me a voice text you could uh, send me a quick screenshot like I want this you know boom 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 you know text messaging is just so much faster okay this is Asian inspired okay it's kind of like um a Siam Siam. Now the interesting part about the, and this is an older bracelet, definitely 60s on older, maybe 50s. Now the interesting part about this metal is, I don't know if it's nickel silver, but I was like, this is really, it, it just had a different it had a different um, response from me. I tested it to see if it was possibly silver. And it did a really weird thing with the chemicals. So I'm thinking it might be either nickel silver. It's not like a basic metal. It really isn't. It may have a tiny, 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 tiny percentage of sterling in it. You know? So I should say silver, not sterling. Because sterling has to be 925. Um... But this is a fun push clasp bracelet. It just has a nice jingle to it with the loops. I'm all about the ASMR on this one. And yeah, so you guys, let me see. The measurement on this is eight inches, eight inches. You guys let me know if a business, a separate business line would actually be beneficial, easier for you folks. I know it would be easier for me, definitely, and yeah, because I've been kind of um, dwelling on it, thinking about it, you know. So, I have this comb here, and uh, hold on one second. Silver, you got all my papers mixed up, girl. So I have this comb here. This is a vintage Japanese kushi comb, okay? And it's great to just set it out in the bathroom area, in the vanity tray, in the bedroom, wherever, you know, you get. It's just really pretty. Oriental collections. Um, you know what? I should have tested this plastic. Hmm. Anyways, we have the beautiful, um, kind of looks like abalone inlay, but this is all painted. I did do a buy it now on my last self 25 because they are worth actually, they're worth some money. Okay. What's going on here? Um, I'm going to drop the price to 15. I just, I want to push it out. I want it to go to a new home. So this is 15 if anybody's interested. Okay, and then I have rings. I still have a few rings available. Um, let's get this going. Mm -mm -mm. And then we're gonna. I'm gonna do a measurement, and then we will be done. This is it. Okay. Okay. 
Starting with this one, this is a native ring. We have beautiful onyx inlay, turquoise coral. I believe this was probably originally a man's ring, but a female could wear it. It's unisex. It is stamped G sterling inside. There are a few G native artists. One came up as Garrison Boyd, and the other one that I found was Grace Smith, Navajo. This is a size, woof, girl, look at that. 11, uh, I'll say 11 and a half, 11 and a half. Now, I couldn't find nothing that was similar that Garrison Boy did like this. Now, Gray Smith, there was one, but it just had the G, okay? So I don't know if it came from like um, an expert who knows automatically this is Grace. I will go with Grace, but um, it's such a beautiful ring. Let's put it on my thumb. And for this massive ring, um, I will go down to 75. This is not a real diamond, it's just a regular stone, but I can't go any lower than that. It's big, it's, you know, you're not gonna find it cheaper than that. And if not, I'm gonna list it on eBay for probably close to $200, cause I could get that. Now, let's see here here's another native ring this is a size 10 and a half 10 and a half it has the beautiful turquoise and coral chip inlay um i will do a buy it now on this one of 50 dollars yeah 50 this will be 50 it has to be 50 i have a beautiful little mini band it kind of looks like hearts stacked kind of a little bit and this could go as like a it's like a cigar band ring it could go as a um a band up above another this is how i had it on my last sale and i absolutely loved it or it could go on somebody's pinky because it is small let me see that okay so this is a size and it's thick four and three quarters four and three quarters um this one's he hefty so i have to do 20 on this one 20. now this beautiful poland amber sterling ring and it's a modernist this one is a size eight and three quarters eight and three quarters i cannot get no lower than 65 for this um just for the style it's poland and i'm being very fair so yeah this one is a brand new green amethyst sterling ring faceted um it is a size eight okay it's a size eight i got these um and some other ones but the other ones sold at a local department store brand new brand new no, nobody's owned them or wore them so for the green amethyst size eight, I will do buy it now 45, 45. This is a marcasite, old, old marcasite ring. It is gorgeous. You know what? I think I'm going to just start. Will it fit my finger on the, Ugh, it's so hard. It doesn't fit. Darn it. This ring is a size seven and three quarters, seven and three quarters. It's really, really um, fancy, unique. I mean, look at the design. I'm trying to see if there's any marcasites missing. I don't see any. Sometimes with its age, one will be, okay? So I don't see any. I like to disclose that. Um, yeah, I don't see any. This one, I will do a buy it now 30. So there's that. This one also came from the native lot, and I don't know what kind of stone this is. It looks like hematite. Do you see how it's like a silver black? Okay. It does have a maker's mark, and I cannot tell what it is. I don't know if it's because of the patina and whatnot. This one is a bigger size. It is a size 10 and a half. 10 and a half. This one I will do for $25. And I believe it's more, a woman could wear it. Oh, it's beautiful. 
but it also would be fabulous on a man. I, I believe this was from a man's collection. Here's another band, turquoise, mother of pearl inlay, sterling. This is gonna be a size 10. I would do a buy it now of 25, okay? And then the last two rings. This one is um, Maria Barrera. And her stuff is pretty high end. She did a collection with Avon. This is going to be a size nine and a half. I will bring the price on this one down to 25. I can't go no lower than that. It is a highly collector ring. Um, it's in great condition. It wasn't used at all. And if you look up this ring and this line, Barrera. B-A-R-R-E-R-A, -R -R -E -R -A, Barrera. Um, I will do this as a buy it now of 25, and that's it. Okay, now this, oh my God, this beautiful, I'm gonna have to pair it up with this other amber ring. This beautiful, look at this chunk right here. This beautiful amber came out of the Metropolitan Museum, um, uh, little store inside the Met. It is stamped Met inside. It, I thought for sure that this was silver. I tested it. it I mean, I don't know. Maybe it, it's a nickel silver, a lower grade. It's not a basic metal, okay? And it's adjustable, but where it's sitting at right now comfortably, comfortably is a six and a half. So it could probably go up to a seven about a seven maybe seven and a quarter but do you see how massive this amber is and it looks like an egg there it looks like an well first of all it does like a hat it does look like it has a an egg yolk in it but egg yolk amber in the center of this um i will do this ring this fabulous hunk for a buy it now of 55 55 Okay, folks, I hope I was descriptive enough with everything. I hope um, you guys like the stuff. And like I said, second glance. This is stuff that didn't sell my last sale. It um, And some things I didn't get to show. And so, yeah, email me. I'm looking forward to everybody's emails oh comment down below even if you don't purchase what what do you like what's unique what haven't you seen what's going on and um and also let me know if a number would be easiest to communicate with me instead of having to do the whole email thing because i'm i was i've been thinking about that for a while now and I just think all around the board, it would just be easier. You know, we want, who doesn't want easy, right? But then I understand people's privacy. They may not want me to have their phone number. Um, but I will say this, I am very private. I don't give people's information out. And secondly, when people pay through PayPal, I could see their number on the account because it's, it's there. So I've never had any issues. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to say that. Anyways, happy Friday, guys. Besos, besos a todo. Kisses to everybody. Be kind to one another. Be safe out there. And with this final thought, and I'm not trying to be Jerry Springer, <laughs> but try to, maybe if somebody could just uh, pay it forward, maybe do something nice this weekend. Like, you know what? I'm going to do something nice for somebody or for a stranger. Open up a door. You know, I do that normally, but you know, it's kind of like when you do that, it's a, it's a contagious smile that occurs and hopefully it could keep going. All right. Love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Adios. So California Vintage, signing off.